So today we're going to be doing a looped braid. It loops amazing. It's a little bit fiddly to start with, but just bear with me because it's just repeat, repeat, repeat all the way down. So you're going to start off like a regular French braid. So I'm just going to take a section of hair here. So you're going to break it into three. And we're just going to be doing a regular French braid to start. So we're taking the outside section over the middle and again the outside over the middle. And then before we take this section over, I'm just going to leave out a little piece of hair. We're going to come to this side and we're going to leave out a little piece of hair and then we're going to cross this piece over. And then going to add a slice of hair, leaving this little piece out. And again, before I cross over, I'm just going to leave out a little piece of hair. So can you see on this side now we've got two pieces of hair left out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this top piece I'm going to bring it underneath that section, leaving this one out still, and then I'm going to add some hair into this section. So we've left him out, we've added the hair in, we're coming back to the normal French braid technique guys. So you're coming back to the left hand side, before you cross over you're going to leave a little piece out, you're going to swap your top one for your bottom one, like so, leaving that bit out, and then you're going to add in hair. Start the whole thing again, so leaving a little section out, and I am just using a little bit of wax on the back of my hands, and just going to run them down these sections just to make sure they stay nice and clean because you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to swap them over. We're going to add a section of hair in, leaving that one out. We're going to come back to the French braid bit of it, just sorting out on my fingers, making sure all these strands are nice and clean leaving out a little section so don't forget to leave out your little section before you cross over swapping them over so the top one comes underneath the new one now before i go any further so i need to add in from this side i'm just going to start to tease these sections out here so we're coming to the last sections now guys so we're going to be not adding in hair soon, but we are going to continue this loop effect. So I'm going to do one more. So before I take this one across, I'm just leaving a little bit out, adding in that last piece of hair there. Just going to use some more wax if I can find it. Yeah, I'll have a bit more. Thanks, Adar. So just use a bit more wax here, making sure these sections are nice and clean. So the top one comes underneath the bottom one. And now we've got no more hair to actually add into this style. So all you're going to be doing is taking the little sections out, but you don't need to add any more. So basically it's a bit easier now. So you take a piece out and put that one under. And then you take a piece out of this side and we keep going down the hair like that. So I'm just going to tie this braid off now. So what you'll do at this point is just really stand back and try and get a really symmetrical pull on both sides. So try not to make kind of like one loop go wider than the other side. So it might just take a little bit to do this, but definitely worth it. 
So that is our style finished, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. It's fiddly, but I do love it. I definitely, definitely think it's worth it. I just love the loop bits. So I will see you all again soon.